So, today's video is super exciting for me because it's a rare case where I am turned on to a completely new app that I've never heard about before, and it just blows me away right away. And so today I'm gonna to be talking about an app called Raycast, and I haven't done a full deep dive into everything it can do, but I'm so excited about using it and what it kind of what it can do for me in the future that I had to share it just right away. So today we're gonna look at the app. We're gonna kind of talk about what it generally is and then how I'm using it in a very narrow way right now, but how it could expand to a lot more. So very quickly, what it is, is it's basically a replacement for Spotlight on your computer. So kind of the way Alfred is the go-to third-party Spotlight replacement now that launches apps, that does a whole bunch of other things with plugins, extensions, and just does a whole bunch of great stuff on your Mac. Raycast is trying to do this as well, but it's not just a clone of Spotlight or Alfred, it's doing it in its own way and it's really cool in some really interesting ways. So let's just jump into a quick early demo of how it works, some settings I think you may want to set for it, and just a demo of something with Unsplash that's really, really powerful and kind of gives you a taste for what the app can do. So let's just jump in. Okay, so I'm here on my Mac and I'm just going to show again a very quick demo, but it's really, really exciting to me. So if I hit my keyboard shortcut to bring up Raycast. Uh, you can see it looks very similar to what you'd expect from Alfred or uh, Spotlight or something like that. Um, but I can kind of go through some of my suggestions, which are mostly recent things that I did or opened. Um, there's some commands here and you can see the list is actually super, super long. So we're not going to get into everything here, but there's stuff for resizing windows over here. Tons of them. There's things for system controls, turning things on and off, changing your volume. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff here that you can do. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, so if you wanted to just launch things, um, you can do that. That's super easy. Um, and not only that, but you can also do more than just launch applications. So you can see down at the bottom right, it says open application. And if I hit return, that's what it's gonna do. But that's not all I can do. So let me type in SAF again. And if I hit command K, there's other options. So I can actually, and there's keyboard shortcuts for all of these. You can just memorize as many as are useful to you. But there's tons of things I can do from here as well. So if I want to show it in the finder, it's command return. If I want to show info on this in the finder, it's command I. So let me do command I. There we go. And now I have the info in the finder and it's also displayed there. So pretty cool, um, just on its own. But what's really interesting about it is its extension framework. So if I uh, kind of go to the store, you can see it's already suggested here, um, but I could also just type store and there it is. Now there are other plugins, other extensions that I can put into the app to do more. So they have some featured ones here at the top, they have trending ones, and then there's just a whole long list. Um, if I type like password, you can see they have ones for KeyPass, Bitwarden and 1Password. If I do notes, uh, Bear Notes and Apple Notes have plugins. Um, but I want to show you the Unsplash one as kind of just our example today. So every extension has some information on the developer. When it was updated, you can view the source code. And then there are commands. And the commands are what you can do with the extension. So with the Unsplash one, I can search images, search collections, look at my liked images, and set a random wallpaper from Unsplash. So let me just hit enter to install it. It's installed. And now if I go back and just do Unsplash, I can search images, <laughs> look at my liked images, search collections, or set a random wallpaper. So I'll do search images. Now this one does need an API key because I need to do that um, with uh, just Unsplash. The extension needs an API key. So let me go grab that real quick. Okay, so now I've pasted it in. And if I hit continue, now I can search Unsplash for an image. So let me do MacBook Pro. Um, and there's a whole bunch here, like maybe this is one. That looks pretty cool. Let's see if there's another one that I'd prefer. That one's very similar concept, but not quite what I want. Let's just go with this first one, right? This is the one that I like. Um, looks pretty nice. I can see some basic info on it. And if I just hit enter, that'll open it on Unsplash and I can do whatever I want from there. But it's more powerful than that. So I can also hit Command K and I can see the other things. So I can open the authors page. I can copy the image to my clipboard. I can set it as my desktop wallpaper. I can download the image, copy the URL, copy the image URL to the clipboard. Like all this thing, all these things are possible, right? Like let me uh, go ahead and uh, download the image. It's going to ask me where I want to save. Downloads is fine. And there it is in my downloads folder. So that's really, really cool. Um, or if I want to go ahead and just go to the authors page, I just hit command return. And now I'm on the authors page and I can see all of their images here. So it's really, really slick, a really, really nice way to, if getting to Unsplash and doing Unsplash searches is something I do all the time, 
it's really useful to have that kind of just built into here. And there's some just abilities for developers to make these kind of custom interfaces in Raycast. Um, and it's just really, really nice. Uh, so there's like a clipboard history here, which I'm gonna slightly blur out because there's some stuff that I don't wanna share there, <laughs> like password stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really nice to have these sort of extensions. And again, there's tons here. Uh, if I install the one password one, just hit enter, there we go. And now I can search for uh, one password and my passwords. And so I need to enable this, but I'd be able to access my passwords from Raycast, which I know Alfred can do as well. Some other of them can do, but there's just tons of possibilities here. I know some developers are really excited about it because it seems pretty easy to build your own extensions for it. But yeah, I'm just really excited about the possibilities that this app offers. And I thought it's worth talking about today because I want other people to try it out and see what is really cool out there. So I'm probably going to be making another video about this in the future. Uh, but for now, I hope this kind of interests you. Um, you can go to uh, Raycast uh, website. All right, let me just do a Google search for Raycast website. Here it is. And you can just download it. It's a free download and everything. Um, so yeah, I am not totally sure what their business model is going to be long term. Maybe they'll start charging for it. Looks like there is a pricing page. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a team option. Yeah. Um, as of right now, it's free for personal use. So how you feel about that is up to you. But um, it's really nice to just be able to do some of this stuff and thought it was worth showing off today. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.